guys, welcome to another resist experiment. Um, today I'm gonna work with hot glue and this is just a total, what if? I thought, what if? I was looking in my supply cupboard and saw it and I thought, that's interesting, what if? Please don't judge me for my, <laughs> my well-loved hot glue gun with cat hair all over it. Um, welcome to my house, I have five cats. Five, five cats. What? What? Okay. So hot glue, I've got a hot glue in here. Um, this one takes the big, long sticks and I'm gonna need one soon. And it's, uh, it's high-low, it's on high. And uh, don't touch the tip ever, it's really super hot and I'm just gonna make random shapes. And what I really enjoy about this is this stringiness that I want to use and see how... Ooh, <gasps> spider web! Uh, oh no, I'm not doing a very good job. Okay, this obviously won't come off though, right? except it is clear. And depending on how much pressure you put down, you can get a big glob or just like these wispy, whoop, that's not wispy, these wispy little strings, which are cool. Okay, so like I said, I got distracted. Um, this will not come off, this is permanent, but it's clear. So uh, it may just blend in and work as a permanent resist. Oh, permanent masking fluid. <laughs> I don't know who would use that and why. I have to look that up. Okay, I'm getting really, this is really cool. Oh my God, it's like herringbone. I don't know what I'm doing, but I can't stop. Okay, stop. That looks so cool. <laughs> oh, you can't see anything. All right, well, this will be a great reveal for you. Um, I need to let this dry. Uh, for a bit or cool down. Um, no, I don't want to touch it. Okay, this is um, this is running out. It won't push any further. So I will, and just to show you, I just want to show you. I don't know if you can see it, but this was a goop that I tried earlier, and I think it looks really neat on the color. It looks like. It looks like gel, it looks like soft gel. Except it's totally clear, it's it's different, it's got a different character. Maybe tar gel is what it's like. Oh, bling, bling, bling. Anyway, I think it's neat. I like hot glue. Hot glue is not archival. It will probably yellow. But anyways, I'm gonna let this dry. Um, I'll come back and we'll do a wash over it and then we'll do another layer on this side, like we've been doing. Okay, so I'll see you guys in a bit. Okay, this is cool enough now for me to paint over. And what I've realized is not all of these strings are gonna remain. They're not all gonna survive the painting process. Some of them aren't stuck down, they're just over top. And that's life. <laughs> it's life in the big city. So, I realized when I was doing the, the washes earlier, that I really should have um, just stuck to one color. Ugh, I need more water. Um, I shouldn't have tried to variegate it just because the results are easier to, to see. Oh God, I just love how this looks. Oops, see, there's a string that's moving. Whatever, you move, buddy. 
You do whatever you want. You just move how you want to. Yeah, so one one layer of color is should have been what I did, but I didn't. I got too, oop, bling, 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 play the banjo. I got too into it. Um, yeah. So, this is neat. This side I'm going to do because I'm going to go over top and do another layer. This side is really where it should be um, just one color so that the layer that goes over top is um, more of a contrast. This one I think I can put more colors. That's fun. Okay, so I'll come back and I'll do the other side and we'll see what happens. This is pretty fun and awesome. See you in a bit. Hey guys, we're back with um, hot glue and there's a little bit still wet down here but I'm gonna keep going anyway. Um, this, is, this is pretty neat. It's not all of the little strings were adhered to the paper so some of them um, I don't know they just made interesting textures uh, this block is barely holding on I think there's only two pages left anyway um, we're gonna do uh, um, a second pass we're gonna do a second layer see how that turns out so more hot glue this time on top of paint oops now this I am um, I'm between glue sticks right now. There's one in the chamber, but it's not getting pushed anymore. Um, I need to put one in, and it's um, as you transfer from one glue stick to the other, it gets a little dodgy. So if you want to use hot glue for this, um, use try and use a whole big stick. move through. Okay, so that's gonna have to dry for a sec. It doesn't take long for hot glue to dry, like a minute. As long as I can touch it and not uh, ruin it, I'll keep going. Oh, okay, it's a little sticky still. Dries really quick. This is such a neat texture. Oh, ah! Uh. <laughs> I made a little pyramid. Not a pyramid. Something. Okay, so that's not quite dry yet. I think that was the last thing I did. It's almost dry. Okay, I'm just gonna go ahead. So I'm doing blue over top. <clears throat> Washy blue. So textured, it's difficult to paint over. And that looks neat. Like, the way it collects, it's some nice contrast. Okay, so that's that. Uh, that's pretty straightforward. I think this will look better um, when it's dried. Because right now, as well, there's um, oh, I missed some of it. 
there's a little bit of blue on top of the the glue that once it's wiped off will make a better contrast okay so I'm gonna let this dry and um, I'll show you the final scan okay thanks for watching talk to you soon